Uh, this will be your close-up camera right there. All right, because I want to show stuff. Something Doesn't interesting. Yeah, press you know what though? They don't really show up that well. Well, it's okay. On. I'll just flash it because as I read the okay. headlines. That's cool. Now I have a question to ask you. But let's see if you can uh, if you can catch this. Here's John. Here's Johnny. Does it come out? Anyway, I'll just put it up in case you can If you it. want. Uh, so I have a question for you. On the ballot, will it officially say, John, the engineer, Turmel? Yeah. They, so that's how we should key you then. Yeah, because right? you're okay. allowed it, you know. If okay. you're uh, known as, as that nickname, I am. Right. So, and I have a question too, because I was reading some articles. And they said you began your political career, this is a start, in 1979 in Ottawa West. Calling yourself, now did you call yourself this or did they call you the champion of, of the gam no, the, of the, hookers, gamblers, and dope smokers? That was the uh, the media calling me. That was yep. the media. I'm a libertarian, you know. I don't want cops busting people for not bothering me. So. Here. So. Well, I'm here mainly to talk about social credits. Yes. Fun stuff. Bus bucks. Bus bucks, yeah. Neat stuff. Mm. So I'm going to ask you some other questions. We have up to five minutes. So uh, All right. Tyler is going to be counting me down to five minutes. All right. Um, well, I'm going to move. I'm going to talk fast, and I got a lot of topics I want to cover. Okay. All right. So uh, you got it. Yeah. But this is a federal election, so I'm going to talk about the Bank of Canada. Okay. Being reprogrammed, so you can have an interest-free account. Okay. Pay off your student loans. No interest. <laughs> All payments against principal. Out of debt someday. Well, I want to ask a couple questions about yourself as well. Well, okay, but uh, that's not the important stuff. I'm going to zoom know. on that. That's fine. You right. zoom. You zoom. Well, all you got to do is lead in, and I'll just do okay. it one at a time. Okay. Like, where are you running? Yeah. With, you know, why do you keep running, you might want to say. Oh, I, that was one of my questions. Yeah, why Believe you, it or not. Perfect. And that leads in, and I'll just cover my points, and then okay. you take over when you feel you want. Okay. And it slows down. Okay. All right. Uh, are you okay if we don't take up the full five minutes then, if you're so fast that we... Believe me, I can fill the five minutes. <laughs> I just need okay. a cue like 30 seconds before to okay. wind down. Well, Tyler will. Now, can we put a puppy on you? Ah, uh, no. My granddad was a draft dodger. Okay. All right. That's why I'm here. Check out the First World War, the war to end all wars. Yeah. Sure didn't end anything, did it? Yeah. Oh, I said, hit the woods, boys, if they come for it. Anyway. So, your grandpa was a draft dodger. First World War. Where did he go to, to? He hid in the Quebec bush. He's with Lumberjack, Bushman. Really? Yeah. Anyway, can't go there, sorry. No, no, just, no, I'm, no, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah, him and his two brothers hid out in the bush the whole war. Really? Yeah. How did they survive? Come on, they're Bushmen. Everybody lived in the bush in those days. It was like 1914, 16. Yeah. 1916. Everybody lived in the bush. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Only the bankers and lawyers and politicians lived in cities. Mm. And you live in Brampton, correct? Brant Ford. Brant Ford. Yeah. Start up a Branford wampum system in honor of Joseph Brand. Wampum was interest free money. One of the names on the ballot this November 17th will be John the Engineer Termel. John joins us now here in the studio. Thanks for coming in, sir. My pleasure. I have to ask you, why are you running? Well, I have for the past 35 years since I got into politics wanted to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer to operate like poker chips without interest. If you have collateral, the bank has chips. So I want you to give a log on, open an account at the Bank of Canada, cut checks to settle all your interest-bearing debts, and after that all your payments will go against principal and someday you are out of debt. Now in the meantime, till the feds wise up, there are other private solutions that I've been suggesting. Mm -hmm. And when I ran for Mayor of Brantford and the Guinness Book of Records for running in more elections and losing more elections than anyone else. Yeah, how many, what number are we up to now? 84, this is my 84th. And I wanted to pay kids with bus tickets to shovel the snow. Now, back in um, Sydney, they're paying people with transit credits for recycling. 
Why couldn't we pay kids with bus tickets to shovel snow? We had 23 candidates in seven cities in Ontario wanting to do that. Now, in Argentina, when the when they went broke, five years later they paid off all their debt. How did they do that? Well, the union said, no layoffs, but we'll take small denomination provincial bonds if we can use them for hydro taxes, medical, and licenses. And everybody else took the bonds, so no layoffs, more employment, all debt paid off in five years, didn't make the news. Any municipality can make small denomination bonds a new form of currency. Now, these are with cryptocurrency. Anyone can now set up a digital currency exchange in a matter of hours. Open Let's. Let's is the software I financed in 1984, the first local employment trading software for time banking. It lets an unemployed single mother babysit double duty your kids, and next night you double duty hers, you pay each other with one hour bills. Mm -hmm. Time banking. So, all three of those angles, whether the money is based time of kids shuffling who want, uh, you know, shoveling who want to have bus tickets, or municipal employees who want to get paid with bonds that pay their taxes, or whether or not people want to get paid with IOUs that buy your time, these systems are spreading around the world fast. you got to set your own up. In 1996, I ran against Sheila Copps. The headline said, Super Loser Fails Again. And one month later, the Hamilton Self-Help Group started up a Hamilton Let's. So, mission accomplished. Now, why am I so desperate? Fukushima. When Fukushima exploded in Japan, and just before the radiation plume hit the West Coast, Harper turned off the fallout detectors. Didn't want to scare you. I checked the stats. Baby deaths tripled in B.C. Now, these are the guys who launched, went and invaded Afghanistan, the guys who didn't melt three steel buildings with two plane loads of gasoline. They invaded Libya, guys who didn't shoot at us. Now they're going to bomb Syria and Iraq. So would they let baby deaths triple and not tell people about the radiation hitting them? Yes, they would. Now what can you do about that radiation? Well, I'm leading the fight in the federal courts. It says here, medical marijuana activists creates legal kit floods court with cases. Over 300 in the federal courts right now want exemptions to use marijuana juice and oil in particular because you need that to fight the cancers that are coming from all the fallout you've been sucking up for the last three years. So forget the buzz to get high. It's the oil and the juice that may save you. We've got to mass produce it. We've got to repeal the law, and I'm leading that fight. And finally, you've got to find out about fasting. Okay, and I did a 18-week, 18-meal fast, and I dropped 48 pounds because starving cancer is the strongest way to go. So, go see YouTube Fast at YouTube, and finally, do it yourself money. This is the second group. I published at johntermell.com slash unilets. A way for people to make up their own paper IOUs for one-hour bills that are being used around the world already. Realistically, do you expect these ideas to take off? Well, do you feel like you're fighting a losing battle? Well, luckily they have in, 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 in communities of smarter people. Need I say more? Okay. If Canadians took 35 years to catch on to community currencies, he who laughs last, Johnny Engineer, get out your shovels, laughs okay. best. And on that, John, the engineer, Termel, thanks for joining us My today. My pleasure. And we will be back on Durham Now after this. Stay with us. Boy, I hope I scared you. Five minutes. There you go, sir. I know that was an awfully long way for you to come in. Oh, listen, it's, it's, it's worth it. You Thank know? you I mean, so much. Like I, it, mission accomplished here if someone <laughs> starts a time bank. Or someone pays students with bus tickets. I can say I told them first. How many of you be willing to shovel snow for bus Your tickets? Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve bucks, twelve transit credits an hour, or six bus tickets in Branford, where you get out there shovel snow on a day off. Plus, we'll take your transit credits in Branford if you'll take ours. And all we do is set up the community centers with readers, like on buses, and you can spend your transit credits in the community centers so poor kids can go to them too. Right? That's how bus bucks worked out in Hong Kong. I ran in 2010, no one voted. They didn't tell anybody. No one voted for me. 2011, Hong Kong started up bus bucks for their students. First, 
So I wanted to do it next, but they still haven't caught on. But we got 23 candidates in seven cities. Well, so thank you. you'd all work for Bus Bucks. I know. I got videos at my site, John Turmel Bus Bucks. I interviewed 50 kids. Only one donkey joked and said no. All the others said, sure we would, including the mayor's kid. <laughs> See you, boys. Thanks uh, so much. My for pleasure. In, John. Which is okay. the way out.